This culinary journey is presented by Celebrity Cruises. Crab intimidates some cooks, but it shouldn't. It's actually very versatile, known for its texture and sweet flavor. Chef John Suley from Celebrity Cruises shows us how crab is used in unique dishes from four of Celebrity's 12 distinctive restaurants. I've cooked all around the world. What I really enjoy about cruising is that it brings a different element to the restaurant side. I believe these restaurants rival a lot of the top restaurants around the world. John's first dish, crab casserole, featured at the Italian-inspired Tuscan Grill. This is at the back of the ship with a beautiful view of the sunset as it sails away from your exotic port. To start, John sautés onions, celery, corn, and garlic, then creates a roux and adds lobster stock. It intensifies this dish. And then we're gonna fold in this beautiful crab meat. We wanna keep the integrity. We don't wanna break that up. To the vegetable mix, he adds the lobster stock with crab meat. This is a cast iron style ceramic dish, and it actually retains heat, which is very important for this dish. So we're gonna put a little potato puree in the bottom. We have our lobster stock with all our beautiful vegetables, the crab. We have here a nice provolone cheese, a aged mozzarella, very indigenous to Italy. I would finish this off by putting it in the oven. Just make sure it's bubbly, it's gooey. This is one of the signature appetizers at Murano. Murano takes you to France. It's very elegant. Using a ring mold. So this is where the fun part actually begins. John starts with brioche. A French style bread that's made with a, a lot of butter, which butter's great. We love butter. He adds a layer of salmon mixture, then avocado mousse. And then we have crab meat, mayonnaise, lemon confit, salt, pepper, and chives. Next, a layer of salmon roux. You're gonna reinforce the flavors of luxury. Topped with creme fraiche and caviar. Finally, add microgreens and white balsamic vinaigrette. The idea is to bring a little bit more acid to the dish. It excites the palate. Your dinner guests would be pretty wild. It's a good way to open your appetite and your palate for things to come. Next, it's on to Japan with a dish from Silk Harvest, an Asian-inspired restaurant. I would say that sushi intimidates a lot of cooks by the number one thing, rice. Buy a rice cooker, don't waste your time on the stove. The rice is sticky, so John covers the bamboo mat in plastic wrap. Using nori, dried seaweed, he spreads a crab meat mixture. Crab is a big part of Asian cooking. I think it has a very delicate flavor. We have our lovely shrimp that we fried. And the idea with this, we want to make sure it's very symmetrical because when we roll, we're going to pinch down. Top with thinly sliced avocado. In the end, you have your roll. The last dish is from the new concept restaurant, Cuisine. Cuisine was actually created by Jacques Van Staden, our master chef. It's just a very exciting, fun, new dining experience. Very contemporary, a little bit more artsy, a little bit more out there. We are using two different types of crab, Alaskan king crab and jumbo lump crab. The Alaskan king crab adds a little sweetness. The crab blend, plus 10 other ingredients, makes up the base. This is katafi, which is a shredded style filo dough, and you can buy that in any type of Mediterranean market. We're basically gonna wrap the crab, shape it into a ball. We'll go right to the deep fryer. At Cuisine, presentation is always captivating and unique. This is our spiced shrimp sauce. You have this big, beautiful cylinder of delicious crab and crispiness. Full flavor, touch of tarragon, and a little bit of spice. No matter where you travel, these destination-inspired crab dishes will bring a taste of modern luxury into your home. Presented by Celebrity Cruises.